Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, I'll show you how to use YOLO NAS pose model on image, video and webcam. So this YOLO NAS pose is a pose estimation model released yesterday by Desi AI. Earlier this year, Desi introduced YOLO NAS, which is an object detection foundation model and that model gained a uh, a good recognition, right? So this YOLO NAS pose is built on that YOLO NAS model and this model offers a superior latency accuracy balance as compared to YOLO V8 pose. So guys, especially the medium sized version of this YOLO NAS pose, this model outperforms the large YOLO V8 variant with a 39% reduction in latency on this Intel fourth generation CPU, okay? So there are four variants of this YOLO NAS uh, pose model, which are this YOLO NAS N and then S, M and L. L means large, M means medium, right? So today we will see the practical implementation. We'll see how to use this YOLO NAS pose model on image, video and webcam. So let's start. So the guy, guys, the first thing is we need uh, you whenever you want to run any uh, model, you need to install all the modules which are required to run that particular algorithm, right? So if you want to run this YOLO NAS pose model for that, you need a super gradient package risk because you just need a Python and on that Python, you need to install pip install super gradients and after that your environment is ready to run this YOLO NAS or YOLO NAS pose model. Okay, so this super gradient package, you can see it over here. And if you want to know more about this YOLO NAS pose model, then you can visit this page. And over here, you can uh, see, you can check the architecture or if you want to see uh, what all things are there in YOLO NAS pose in detail, then you can check this uh, GitHub page and from here you can get the information. Okay, so for now, once you just need a Python install and on that Python, you need to install this super gradients. Okay, so this YOLO NAS pose will work with this version of super gradients. So you have to make sure if you have already this super gradient package on your machine and if you're running on that you will get an error you need to upgrade your package to this 3.4.0 okay so after that install all these things one by one you just need to uncomment it and install it okay so now here i'm importing these two packages and then we are checking the version so the super gradient version is 3.4.0 and then the torch version is this so i'm you i'm using the torch and I'm working with GPU, so that's why I have compiled it with CUDA and the CUDA version is 11.6. So, okay, so this is my torch version. So these are the other required libraries, okay? Now, from here, we'll see. So guys, in this tutorial, I'm using a large model, Yulunas uh, pose large model. So you can see this is how you can import. This is a pre-trained model. So this pre-trained model is trained on Coco, uh, Coco data set. So this is how model dot get and then write the model name. So in, in the same way here, if you want to use the medium model, if you want to try the small model, you just need to write M or S over here. Okay. So this is how you call the pre-trained model. Now you have the pre-trained model. If you want to check the summary, then you can check it like this. After that, now let's check uh the now we will um, uh, test the model okay let's make the predictions let's uh, uh let's see how this pose estimation model works so we will predict we will predict the pose we will put the key points on this uh, image okay so what you need to do is just write the image name you have to write the entire path where your image is so in my case the image which i'm testing on is in the current working directory where my jupyter notebook is so that's why i've given the path like this and then yolonas pose dot predict this dot predict will uh, predict this is this method will help you out the with the predictions and then the url is the variable where our image is and if you want to uh, use some confidence threshold value you can uh, use that over here and this show means you want to see the output on the screen so you can see we have the uh, poses these key points and then the class names with their scores okay and guys let's say if you want to store these results in a folder then you need to use this save method and whatever the name you want to 
uh, use uh, when you are saving it. So we, if you will run this line, what will happen that you will get a folder with this name and inside that folder you will have this output image saved. Okay, so this is how you work with the image. Now, if you want to work with video, so again, just give the path of a video. Okay, so my video is in my current working directory. So that's why I've written the name like this. So if you want to see that video, let me show you. Okay, just a second. Okay, yeah. So this is my code uh, folder where I'm working and you can see the video over here is a.mp4 and this is my video okay and this is my code okay so and uh okay so now you have a video you just need to use the predict method again and then the source file name our source file name is present in this variable and if you want to use a confidence value use that dot save detections dot mp4 means i want to save the output video with this name okay so once you execute it let me show you both the videos so this is the video on all right so we're also following new developments in the middle east israeli troops launched an so, hours-long ground raid in northern gaza overnight so this is the video okay So this is the video okay now let me show you the output video so this is the detections you can see here the output is saved with detections.mp4 now let's open that so now you can see the detections.mp4 that we have the key points and then we have the score okay like this so this is how you can use it on uh, this uh, video now guys if you want to uh, work with web camera then what you need to do simply we are just calling the model and then here over here predict webcam now we are not using a predict method earlier while performing uh, this predictions on video or image we were using the predict method but when you want to work with web camera then you need to use this method predict underscore webcam and now when i'll enter it you will see this kind of now you can see that web camera is open and it is um, showing us the key points also right okay this is how you can use yolona's uh, pose model so in the description section i have given the link of this notebook and i have also provided the link of uh, the notebooks provided by dc ai you can try those things and i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching